some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Now, in today's video, we follow uh, Rockford Metro Press as he attempts to file a complaint on, on an officer who actually did his job. So, in other words, he's filing a uh, complaint as a retaliation for something that the officer was supposed to do to begin with. Uh, typical frauditors, they always talk about retaliation, but it's generally them that are the ones doing the retaliation. And then we'll follow that up with a classic uh, Sovtard video. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, Rockford Metro Press family, we're back at the Winnebago County Justice Center. We just had court with the judge about the stalking PO against Rockford Metro Press Transit Authority. And of course, you're just like any other frauditor out there. You don't want to be held accountable for your own actions because, well, you think you're above it. You think that uh, the laws don't apply to you. Therefore, you want to go on a retaliation spree after they try to hold you accountable for your own actions. Gotta love the classic morons. And we got it extended for a whole year. The judge was biased against free press. Okay, okay, we got a typical frauditor story here where uh, the uh, frauditor films his own crimes. He goes into a government building where uh, it's a limited public forum or non-public forum, and he ends up getting trespassed and removed from the property. And, uh, well, apparently court didn't go well for him, and uh, he's uh, blaming the judge for it now. I mean, never mind that he... Uh, decided to play F around and find out and uh, found out the hard way that there are certain places that have restricted access and uh, restricted uh, recording uh, regulations because of privacy matters. Oh, never mind all that. Uh, it, it's all the judge's fault. Yeah, there we go. It's all the judge's fault. It's not my fault for being a complete and total moron. Said we were on, what kind of was on our side, kind of going against our side. Didn't know too much about what was really going on. Mis misinterpreted the law quite a few times in the in the meeting. Told us we can appeal it to an appellate court for a higher decision, which that's what we have to do to get any justice around here. So that's what we plan on doing. They said we have 14 days to take off any of our videos we have of the inside of RMTD, as long along with everybody else. So, in other words, you're experiencing consequences for the actions that you took that were perhaps unlawful? I mean, could that be it? Nah, nah, that couldn't be it. We're coming here at the Winnebago County Justice Center to file our complaint on Roberts that kicked us out of this building uh, a month ago. Sorry I've been away from the camera. I was uh, attacked on the public sidewalk, so this kind of shot me down a little bit, and I was on vacation, and I had a couple family members die. So yeah, uh, family members dying, yeah, I can find that believable. I mean, a member of my family here died recently that uh, I was close to, but vacation time? I mean, don't you have to have a job before you ever get any vacation? I mean, you got to be able to work for a living to understand or uh, appreciate any vacation that you get. Because, you know, if one, when you're unemployed, every, every day is pretty much a day off or vacation or something like that until you actually get a job. I was away from the camera for a bit, but now we're back. We're going here. I got my complaint filed. It's already typed up for them. We're going to see how they treat us. Oh, did you type it up all by yourself? Because I would love to read it, because I'm sure it must be a wonderful masterpiece of typos, spelling errors, and everything of that nature, to the point where you probably get an F in a creative writing class on the first day. And here we go.
Well, what's going on, buddy? How, How you doing? How are you? You already know. Can't bring it in. Um, you got me somebody? Yeah, I'm going out there to file a complaint. I just saw the guy that's my dad. Hang on, you can't bring the camera in, though. So it's fine. So, so. Says the people who actually run that building, and no, you can't say the public runs that building. Camera's not being allowed in, I'm sorry. Says who? We already went you through might, this and you, you already might, let us allow it. Nice stepping back so this, this can, get in can you bring your supervisor here? Yeah, we just Because I'm ready to come through. Can you bring your supervisor here? Can you call your supervisor? Sign says you can't bring the camera. I don't care what a sign says. I understand you don't care. Right. Signs don't mean anything. To you, they don't. I understand. Okay, signs don't have any meaning to you, okay? Why don't you try explaining that to uh, somebody in the hazmat field that this particular sign has no meaning to anybody at all, except for those who uh, have to use it every day to clean up hazardous waste spills. Or how about this particular sign right here that has great importance on the uh, roadways because if somebody doesn't, uh, well, read it very well, like you would obviously have trouble reading it because signs have no meaning to you, then uh, things would happen and people would be uh, unalive because of... Uh, Idiots like you who place no meaning on science whatsoever. You really got to think your arguments through because that is just a really, really asinine argument to begin with. So can you call your supervisor so I can file this complaint? Oh, we, uh, we can wait out here. We just want to file a complaint. Go get it. We'll, we'll call somebody. You want call to have a seat over there. We'll call I don't want to have a seat. <laughs> Call somebody. Well, I can't have you stand can you here. show me the judge's order, judge's rule? I can't rule? have you stand here blocking it. There's not blocking anybody. You stand out there, you can come. I'm not blocking anybody, sir. I will move. Come on in, sir. What's the deal, man? You already let us through here. What's the deal? What is the, what is the problem? You didn't have cameras last time. Yes, I had the camera last time. I pointed it right at you. You let me walk through with your buddy. You don't remember that? Uh, do you have video proof of that? Because I looked on your channel and I couldn't find an instance where that particular officer let you through. So... Yeah, if you can't show it, you don't know it. And in this case, you can't show it, you're definitely lying. Walk up, come on. What's that? Clunk. It's clunk? Yeah. That's what you tell the judge, it's clunk. Is that, is that what you tell a judge? Uh, no, dude. You're not a judge to begin with. Uh, you're just some annoying pissant moron who thinks he uh, knows better than everybody else and uh, appears to be offended that... Uh, this officer is using some semblance of freedom of speech against you, which I thought you First Amendment auditors uh, loved freedom of speech. I mean, it is in the First Amendment, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. All right. Can I come through and file and do my business? Not with the camera. Not with the camera? No. Nope. Because why? Are you stupid or something? Stupid is, stupid does, sir. Uh, Chief, Judge, Chief Judge says Chief so. Judge says who? Is that a law? Is that a law? Or a, can I get the Chief Judge's name? I'm done talking to you, You're sir. done talking to me. Yep. And you're going to impede my way from coming in here. Why do you hate the public, man? You know, that's the wrong question to be asking at this point. That why do you hate the public? Is it the public they hate? Or is it just that they don't like peep asinine assholes like you who try to throw their weight around i mean think about it uh you have thousands of people that come in and out of government buildings all day every day without a problem but the moment that you come along uh there is a problem i mean uh is it the public or is it the general public or is it just you that's the issue I mean, it's something you've got to really think about, isn't it? I'm real good friends with Kevin. Kevin Goley. Me too. Why do you have so much disdain for the public? But you're a servant. Why do you have so much disdain? What is the problem? Oh, there goes that word again. Servant. I mean, he's not exactly your personal servant, dude. And you know what? We all know what you mean about what you think a servant is. 
You replace certain letters and you get an entirely different word from an era in this country that has, should have been long forgotten. But thanks to people like you, that uh, word is now coming back into the le lexicon. And, uh, well, it's disgraceful how you think that anybody who works for the government uh, is that word. And the way you use it against this guy right here is especially horrifying. Right, because you guys are not letting me continue with my business. It's Robert's today, buddy. What's that, sir? Because this gentleman's, can I come through here? No. That's why I want a supervisor. For sure, he's on his way again. Can we have somebody else? Because he's actually the person I'm having to complain on. So I'd like to have somebody else come down here. Can he take his own complaint? Can he take his own complaint then? Gentlemen, you're blocking my winches here. Please allow these people in here. Please allow us in here. Nope. We're some kind of threat. Well, gee, dude, how else would you explain the reason why you get arrested so damn often? I mean, you've got to be a threat to somebody. I mean, if you get arrested that frequently and then have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars in the courts because you're a total dumbass who uh, thought they could get away with uh, breaking the law. You guys got some private information back there? Is this a sheriff's department, correct? This is not the sheriff's department. Exactly. You want to talk about the 007 Beast Report? 41 pages about what you did. Yeah, you know Matthew. You know exactly what you did. You want to talk about that? What was up with that back in 2018? Hey, you killed your help killed somebody or something? What happened with that? Yeah, and you're so innocent in the matter where you and a group of friends of yours decided that it'd be fun to uh, team up on a female officer, but uh, she showed you a thing or two, didn't she? You're lucky you made it out of that situation intact, dude. I mean, the alternative could have been, well, far, far worse had she made that critical decision. You need to get down on your knees and thank her for that, for that uh, quick decision-making skill right there that she displayed in not Ending you. You let us in here with cameras just like this. You remember that? Video. You said, Ugh. when we come through, same gentleman, it was both I mean, of you in here. You've been in trouble for lying before, so. Definitely. You too, sir. Yep. Uh, from what I heard from Lieutenant Gillard, is that we're allowed to be out here at least. Definitely. It's not half the metal detector. You guys want to take this complaint? I could just be on my way. We wouldn't even have to worry about this. You guys going to help the public out here? Or you don't care about your job too much? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sure it must suck to be ignored like that. I mean, to just sit there and understand that nobody likes you. Nobody respects you. Nobody wants to be around you. I mean, that's got to be the worst feeling in the world to know that you're a total loser. You think you're above somebody? That's why you're behind a desk, is that why? Uh, Frauditor, uh, you may need to go see a doctor because that mouth breathing thing that you, you got going right there. I mean, you're just standing still. I mean, uh, all this arguing probably isn't helping your cardio at this point if you're really that bad off. Uh, is, does it have something to do with all the illicit substances that you tend to abuse or something like that? Because inquiring minds really want to know this kind of thing. I mean, if, if it... Uh, might help you might want to get off it and recover because you don't sound too good at this point
I like Kevin, but that's why I didn't put him on blast for that lady he hit back in 1998. What you think I get out of this, man? Just holding you guys accountable or what, man? Just doing my job or what? Dude, being a First Amendment auditor is not a job. That's a self-appointed title that grants you no rights in particular, that grants you no special privileges. All you do is you go around to uh, hardworking people, treat them like a pile of crap, and get clicks and views on your pitiful little YouTube channel, and act like you're such a big shot, when in reality, you are a sad, pathetic excuse unemployed human being who is a drain on our system that's all you are that's all you ever will be to your final days on this planet a drain on everybody ain't nobody else out here doing this they're all too scared and your parents have any children that live sir yes sir i bet they regret that good on this guy man he's the only one giving us smiles this guy he wasn't too too shabby with me. So what happens if I would have proceeded my way? You guys are going to attack me or something here? What's going on? Oh, if you had gone by beyond the threshold, I'm sure they would have uh, escorted you out physically and it would have been another scenario where you would have ended up with more court costs and had to come back here and bitch, whine, moan, complain and everything like that and try it all over again. Rinse and repeat, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, but, you know, one of these days you ought to break the cycle and get some brains. You're going to put your hands on me? You back You're going to ask me to back up? Yep. And then what? Back up. So I'm trying to come through, though. You're, you're not coming my way. I told you I'm coming through. Why not? Because I told you. Because you told me. <laughs> How you doing there, buddy? Oh, the officer knows you by first name. You trying to dox yourself at this point? Because you were the one that failed to edit it out, you dumbass. Doing all right. I could be better if you guys wanted to beat me on my business to go file a complaint on you. You're gonna take your own complaint? Can I get it stamped and filed and I'll be on my way? I want to complain on you. I already have it all written up. I want you to stamp it and get me on my way. I'd already been on my way. Can you stamp that and not be on my way? Stamp it? Stamp it. How do I know you're just going to throw it in the garbage? It's, not, it's a complaint on you. Oh. Right. So uh, can you stamp it and give me a copy of it or something? I'd be on my way. Did you make a copy of it? No, I didn't. I would like you to stamp it, put your signature on it, and stamp it, and give me a copy, or, or give me the copy back saying that you, you got it and just throw it in the garbage. Yeah, officer, uh, I wouldn't bother trying to read that uh, bunch of chicken scratches right there. Even if he used a computer to try to type it up, I doubt that uh, it would even make any sense whatsoever. Even with the spell check the computer has, I doubt that it would help his grammar or punctuation errors or anything like that. It's still come out looking like a jumble of uh, word salad. And, I was and I'd have been on my way. Like your mustache. Broler already said we're cool to film out here. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna say I really doubt that the uh, officer ever said that to begin with. I mean, uh, is a police officer gonna be able to override the uh, orders of the local judge on anything like that in this place? Uh, no, I don't think so. That's your lieutenant, am I correct? It'll be in a while. I'll be here tomorrow then. I'll be here every day. Matter of fact, you guys are my type priority right now. Well, it is good to know where your priorities lie because apparently they don't lie within going to find a good, decent job that you can support yourself with. I mean, oh man, 
being a productive member of the society is not on your list of priorities at this point, is it? I mean, this First Amendment auditing thing is, you know, it's going to disappear one of these days when all these uh, lawmakers create laws that make it that much more difficult. And you shouldn't have to uh, blame it on them. The actions of people like you are going to end up causing the reaction that's going to end up putting you First Amendment auditors out of business and forcing you to go find an actual job, even though that is not exactly your stated priority at this time. Maybe I'll get a stalking order on you guys next. <laughs> You'll have to excuse my friend. He's a little slow. Oh, really? Uh, are you really that damn stupid? I mean, uh, you do realize that they're doing a job right now. They are currently sitting at their place of employment, uh, doing their job, doing their assigned tasks, when uh, you are the one coming in and harassing them and stalking them. Uh, what planet are you from where them doing their jobs at this particular place is stalking you? I mean, uh, did I miss something? For a year. All you gotta do is go down there and cry. You know, I have had enough of uh, this guy's stupidity for one day. It is really starting to melt my brain. So uh, let's just go ahead and skip to the walk of shame, shall we? And then we'll uh, watch a classic video of a. Aussie Sobtard trying the script, but failing miserably. So let's carry on, shall we? ourselves in Queensland, Australia, with another sovereign citizen who believes that he has the exclusive right to travel without a driver's license. Well, you can travel all you want, but you still got to have a license to operate a motor vehicle, even in Australia. On that note, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Okay. Do you have your license on you? No. Okay. What's your name then? I'm not obliged to give you my name. I'm not obliged to answer any of your questions. Okay, so my name is Constable Ryan Parmenter. I've observed that you've been driving on a road in Queensland. I have okay. been driving on the road. I observed you drive down the main street and you have driven this vehicle here to the school. Well, I'm not driving, I am travelling. You can travel all you want, but the moment you are behind the wheel of a vehicle or automobile or personal conveyance or, in some cases, vessel, you become a driver, an operator of that motor vehicle. Therefore, you are subject to the laws of the public roadways in the country in which you reside. I mean, you lead paint drinking soft tards are a different class of moron altogether compared to the frauditors. Okay, you were driving by my definition, and I now require you to state your full name and address. I warn you that it's an offence if you fail to comply with my requirement, and you may be arrested for that offence. Do you understand that? No. I okay. Understand. I'm giving you a further reasonable opportunity to comply with my requirement, or you'll be arrested for contravening that requirement. No, you're not even a real cop. 
Okay. Are you going to give me your name? Mate, I'm giving you a reasonable opportunity. If you're licensed, and I don't have an issue with it, I just want to know your name. Because I, I believe that this car's unregistered. Because there's no plates on it. That's alright. Because you just took them off. That's why. And yet, just because a vehicle has plates on it doesn't mean it's registered. Just because a, pl a car doesn't have plates doesn't mean it's not registered. That's true, but you haven't given me any evidence to say that it is registered. I've just given you evidence there. This is not evidence, this is an email. Huh, I wonder what's on that email. Uh, probably it's just some sovereign citizen garbage that wouldn't work in any court in the world. Well, your refusal is... answer enough for me. Okay. I don't have to give you anything else. I'm not going to give you... You have to give me your name. No, I don't have to give you my I've name. I've given you a legal requirement to give I you my... I know my rights. Yeah, it is quite clear that you don't know any of your rights or even the laws of your country. So, you know what? You should go back to school and learn them very quickly, dude, before it gets you into even deeper trouble. You do have the right not to answer any questions, but when the officer asks you to identify for the purposes of a traffic stop, you have to comply. That is just standard operating procedure for traffic stops in Australia. I don't know why you're acting like a complete moron and trying to fight every step of the way. No, wait, I do know why, because you fell into that sovereign citizen rabbit hole that gets so many other people into trouble. Okay, I have no right to... I have no right. Okay, mate, you're under arrest at this point for failing to... Like, I'm to not. contravening a requirement by a police officer. And we'll, you're under arrest, and we're going to establish your identity, okay? I'd like to see your supervising officer. All right, jump out of the car. No, I'm not getting out of the car. Hey, let me go. Let me fucking go. I haven't done anything. Seatbelt off, mate. No, listen, what have I done? You're under arrest. At this point, I'm going to have to skip ahead to when he's in the police car because YouTube is cracking down on the arrest videos, particularly like the ones that are physical, like this one. <sighs> okay. So do you understand what you're under arrest for this time? No, I don't. Okay, do you want me I to... I haven't harmed, injured, or f caused any harm to any car. Do, do, do you want me to explain it to you? You want me to explain something to you? No, no, I asked you a question. You've made an unlawful mate, arrest. I'm trying to be polite to you. We've made a lawful arrest. You've made an unlawful arrest. I've made a lawful arrest. requirement I for you to state your... I haven't caused a crime, have I? I haven't Listen, committed mate. any crimes, We're have trying I? to be nice and polite to you now, okay? And explain to you well, why you're under arrest. Now that you've got me in handcuffs. Well, we want you to understand why you're under arrest. I want you to understand that I don't give a f what you say. Okay. So you don't, you don't want to be explained to as to why you're you under arrest at this point. handcuff me in front of my daughter can <sighs> in front of the f***ing school. I gave you a requirement to state your name in the f*** are you cunts? We just wanted to, uh, we wanted to see your vehicle's you registered. You're stupid. And we wanted to see your driver's license. You failed to comply with my requirement to state your name in the f***ing license and you're under arrest, okay? Cunt. Yeah, you do to drive on the road. No, I don't. You're right on that. You don't need a license to travel. But what you do need is a license to drive the motor vehicle once you're behind the wheel. Why is it so difficult for you to understand the difference between the two concepts? Traveling is going from one place to another. Driving is a way of getting to the destination, as in you drive in a motor vehicle. Do you get that, Sovtard, or did I explain it way too fast for you? At any rate, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley.
You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?